I just wanted to preface the video real quick, I guess, uh, intro, so to speak. Um, I might repeat myself a lot, because initially I didn't mean to, I wasn't going to make a video. It just kind of, you know, happened. I figured it probably happened to other people from what I researched. And I figured, you know, it might help some people out, and I hope it does. So I might repeat myself a lot throughout the video. Uh, initially I was only making them to share on my local Mopar page in Northeast Ohio. Uh, we kind of help each other out, whatever, so, you know, trying to get tips and tricks from them on how to fix it. So initially, that's why I made the video. So if I repeat myself a lot, my bad. I'm going to try to edit some of it out, but I'm also not going to leave it chopped and screwed. So, yeah, I just want to say that it might be repetitive, but, again, I didn't intend on making a video to begin with. So, hope you guys enjoy it, and hope it helps someone out. So I just turned the car on, <coughs> and this is what it's doing. So I shift to park, then desired gear. Gear lights aren't on. So I think something in here is broken. But, um, put on the brake. Won't let me do nothing. <sighs> this is the current situation. I got all this crap out. I started taking this out to try and wrap it well. That's out, but whatever. Um, so yeah, you got this. This is the new shifter that I got from Mike. Brand new. It's the old one. It looks, for the most part, exact same. Except for this one is chrome, so maybe it's not the same. But anyways, got that there. Struggled, but it started. anything. And again, no shift lights. Oh, people. I did two things, replaced the, or not replaced, replaced the shifter, this is again Mike's new shifter, and I also disconnected the battery for about 20 minutes. Um, when I reconnect the old shifter, it still goes into gear and everything, but I get a warning message here, crap you guys can't see, I get it here to serve a shifter, but as you can see I only have one. So. We're gonna not drive to work tomorrow, just in case, but I think we did it. I think we did it. Oh yeah, I got bored. Car was sitting, so yeah. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Well, here goes my maiden voyage after replacing the shifter. Remote start it. <coughs> Excuse me. Be able to remote start it. Seat's definitely warming up pretty damn nicely. Shifter light is on. That's a good sign. I got no other lights other than the TPMS sensors, which I don't have. So, we're good. Let's go into reverse. And then, uh, let's see what happens. see we did make it back home everything felt fine shifted fine upshift downshift the whole nine yards so I think we fixed it so um, I wasn't gonna make a video of this but I decided why not because after googling this is a common problem but no one's really ever addressed it or made a video or anything about it to address it the one video I found the guy took it to the dealership and then traded in pretty quickly so what I did to fix this stupid thing was a pretty simple fix honestly I ended up replacing 
the shifter. So the old shifter, which I don't have in here anymore, the lights wouldn't turn on anymore. And then here I kept saying, I kept saying shift to park, as you saw earlier in the videos, shift to park and the whole nine yards. And even though it was one park, it wouldn't let me do anything. Disconnected battery, still nothing. Bought the new shifter, plugged it in, nothing happened. So I left it plugged in, it disconnected the battery again for about a half hour or so. Plug the battery back in, car turned on, shift lights turned on, and all the error messages went away. So after that, I was curious if maybe it wasn't the old shifter and there was something else going on, just, you know, out of curiosity. So I plugged the other shifter back in, and the lights still wouldn't turn on. It would let me shift um, into gear and everything, but I still got a warning message here saying shift, um, sorry, service shifter. So somehow, some way, something in the stupid, silly shifter broke, for lack of a better term, and needed replaced. So, a uh, brand new OEM part or shifter would have cost me about 400 bucks or so. Um, I forget what website, East Coast Moparts or Steve White, one of those is where I went on and looked it up. It was going to cost me about 400 bucks. Thankfully, I had someone local who had bought one to replace the shifter boot on some other car so he let it go for a little less than 400 bucks and yeah maiden voyage everything seems fine we'll take it to work um in a couple days just to make sure we're all good and then uh yeah we'll be good I forgot i had these lights i haven't driven this car feels like it's been forever uh november 5th today is the 16th um so you know only about 11 days but it seemed like forever but um yeah i'm just glad to, that it, so far as of today i'm gonna wait till the weekend to actually upload the video but um after i make drive to work which is 80 hour 80 hour 80 mile round trip um drive so if we can get to work and home just fine i think we'll be good um and yeah so if you ever get the service shifter or have some issues here saying you know something about shift to park or not in park or whatever before you take it to the dealership replace this um it was really easy to replace um i didn't make a youtube video on that because i was you know trying to figure out how to make it work but you just need a pry tool. I use this guy just because that's what I had. Pop this open. Um, when you lift it up, there's a screw somewhere around here-ish. That is a T... Where is it? T20 bolt or screw. Um, you just unscrew that. You disconnect the wires. Which is, you know, obviously a little clip. And then, let's see... And then you have to disconnect, it latches on two latches here into a beige piece. Just pop those off, push up, this comes up, and that's it. Then you obviously repeat the process to install the new one, just in reverse. Pop this back on, and then you're good to go. While it was off, I took the liberty of wrapping my bezel, shifter bezel area. I just wrapped over the trim here. Um, not a fan of the chrome, silver accents, or whatever. Eventually, all this will go. I replace these with carbon fiber. These are not real carbon fiber, but until I can, until I decide to spend a thousand dollars or so on a wheel, that's their fix. And then while it was sitting, I replaced, or not replaced, I wrapped this bezel as well. I don't know what the heck that is. I couldn't get that to come out. Um, this bezel, I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to wrapping. Truth be told, it turned out decently um biggest problem areas for me i started left to right i should probably have gone right to left that might have been easier but whatever it's in the past now um but biggest problem area was going from here to here so i ended up cutting it as you can see ish somewhere around here and then right around here and then it went 
uh, right to left to wrap this second half. Um, I didn't try too hard on these. Maybe I should have tried a little harder on the edges here. But, you know, it is what it is. Probably end up having this painted. Um, I didn't realize that this thing, I never really touched it before, you know, a whole lot other than with a towel. I didn't realize it's textured. So, when you touch it in certain places, you can feel it underneath. So, eventually, you know, I'll have someone pay, have it painted, sanded, and the whole nine yards so it's smooth. But, I'm liking it. Same as my hood, roof, and trunk wrap. Same color and everything. Um, oh, just dropped it. Eventually, I probably will wrap this. Or I might just have it painted at the same time. I don't know. Might do this in carbon fiber. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, anyways, that's a shifter video. Hopefully this helps someone else. And uh, hopefully it's not more. There's not more to your issue than there was to mine so far. But uh, thanks for watching, guys.